Some members of City Council say they need to publicly stand apart from Mayor Woodward's August appearance with Shea. He's been accused of engaging in domestic terrorism and religious extremism. But today, Woodward told me this will have no bearing on her role as mayor or her re-election bid. For about a month, we've been hearing of plans to censure Mayor Nadine Woodward. But Monday night, that's not exactly what happened. And there was a little bit of concern that censure sounded like censor and that it was censoring freedom of religion and that is really nothing about what this resolution did. Instead, council voted to denounce her appearance at a prayer event where she stood on stage with Matt Shea. He was expelled from the state's Republican caucus after an investigation said he had ties to domestic terrorism. But Zach Zapone says the overall sentiment of what council did is the same as censure. The mayor and her actions affiliated the city of Spokane with that extremism. It added legitimacy to that extremism. And this was simply saying we as a, a, a legislative body think that's wrong. And when I walked up on that stage, uh, I know there are people who think I should have walked right off of it. But I was amongst 4,000 members of our faith community and we were there to pray. Woodward sticks by earlier statements she didn't know Shay would be there. But she will change one thing going forward. The one thing that I could have done differently was to vet out the event more, but I was invited by a friend, so I didn't ask as many questions. I will next time. Zapone says while there's no official consequences for the mayor, the denouncement was a necessary signal to the community. Hate is not tolerated. As I was leaving, uh, I heard people who testified in support that came from Matt Chase Church saying, we almost had it. It was close. And that's really unfortunate because that they believe that they're close to changing the tide here in Spokane. The mayor tells Krem2 News the denouncement is merely a political stunt. The first person I brought into the mayor's office uh, was from the LGBTQ plus community. I'm married to diversity. So to, to, to link me with some of the ideology uh, is, is preposterous. The resolution comes with no formal reprimand or repercussions for the mayor. Three council members did vote against the resolution. Council member Jonathan Bingle, who has been censured before, says council doesn't apply censures equally and called it a nakedly political move. Shannon Mowdy, Crum 2 News.